are going to need um, one. Let's do it on the same sheet of paper today. I'm going to only look at one piece of paper. You need one blank piece of paper, pen or pencil, and you need your thesis statements from yesterday. You guys got 30 seconds to take that stuff out. Go. What was the thesis statement from yesterday? What character did you look at? And what did you say about him? He was a very confused young boy. There you go. That was your thesis statement. Make sure you have that ready to share. Good. Have that out. Blank piece of paper. Yeah, paper. Hustle up. Get that paper. Hurry up. Let's try to finish. 15 seconds. Find those folders. Take a seat. Thank you, Shaniqua. Come on, Darius. Sit down. Randall, what you need? The what? Oh, you like that one? All right. Let's quiet down and focus now. Shh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's quiet down. Donovan, I need your attention. India, you got your stuff? Huh? Pencil? You can have my breast cancer pen, but I need it back. Oh, excuse me, sweetie. There you go. OK, here we go. Let's take a look at the board. You guys are going to get to talk a little bit about yourselves here, but I'm not giving you too long to do it. So you're going to have two minutes to complete this next task and be ready to share. It's going to transition us into the next thing. So I'm only showing you so much right now. Who can read that for me if you can read my writing? Jeff. Which five character traits that you exhibit uh -huh. within your daily life? Even though you live, even though you live, you can read your daily life. Which five character traits that you exhibit within your daily life? Right. You remember what Intense asked you guys to do last class? Remember how you had to identify multiple character traits? Yeah, you may have done a list of 10, I think he asked for. Now, here's what I'm asking for. In two minutes, flat, you got to come up with the strongest five traits that apply to you. Uh, Jeffrey, what do you think it means when it says exhibit? List five character traits that you blank within your daily life. That you go through. Sure. What else can we add to that? Anyone else? That you, show. that you show, that you go through, that you show. Fantastic. Five traits that you go through or show on a daily basis. We got two questions, then you guys get to work. Miss India. Huh? Do it on. We're going to do this on uh, a new piece of paper. So your blank piece of paper is where we list our traits. Yes, Tiasana. I got one right here for you. All right, you guys, two minutes. Go ahead, give me your traits. Five traits, that's right, go. About you. Nope, just about you today. What do you show in your daily life? Go. What's up? Hmm? Right, so um, what have you said about our characters in the book so far? Yeah, you can leave it in your bell work folder if you'd like. Who, who did you talk about since we've looked at characters so far? And what did you say about him? He's brave. Why do you think Jonas is brave? He took the apple. Took the apple. What's the big deal about taking the apple? Perfect. So you looked at Jonas, you examined something he did, and then you were able to make a judgment about his character, not him physically. Now I want you to do the same thing yourself. Think about Jeffrey in the course of the day, the week, the year, your life. What are some traits that you have shown or you've revealed about yourself through your actions? I can give quite a few to you, but I need you to think about them. So, no, but before I let you go, give me one. What can you say about yourself? That I'm lazy. Are you lazy? Do you, I don't wake up in the fantastic. Write that down. That's one trait about yourself. Give me four more. I hope the others are a little more positive, though. You okay here? How about you, Elias? You good? I'm coming around. Good job. What about you back here? Greg, you all right? Now, we said one last time. What did we say last time? You wrote it down. You remember? Take a look in your folder. I remember this one.
You guys got about one more minute. I'm going to float around and touch base. I need to see all five traits before we move on. Randall, what's good? What is that? Attentive. Attentive. Listen up. Hey, what does it mean if I say, as a teacher, I would prefer an attentive class versus a rowdy and distracted class? What do you think attentive means? Huh? Attention. To give attention. To pay attention. Great job, Randall. Here, you don't need to dig through that. Let's just talk about it. Um, last time you wrote something about yourself, you made a character analysis of yourself based on your own actions. What would you say is a trait that you have? What's something that describes your personality? Are you mean? Are you nice? Hmm? There we go. We've started by looking at a few examples. Let's write that down. Nice. Because I've only seen nice things come from you so far. Are you talkative? Would you call yourself shy, perhaps? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Keep on going. What other things can you say about yourself? Now, these are only two that I've seen revealed in the class. What can you say about yourself? Hmm? Lazy? Why do you say that? You don't do anything. All right. How many we got so far? Three. I need two more. Keep on pushing. Jump. KJ, how you doing, man? You set? All right. Nesto, good work. What you got? Oh, nice, nice. Ooh, good work. Dallas, good job. What do you have? Sweet. Miss Yasmin, how about you? Okay. Good work, good work, good work. What about you here? Okay, we need two more. Think about yourself in this classroom. Think about participation and stuff like that. I don't know. You say, you say what you think. Good job here. This I one. In a second. I want to share too. Cool. Cool. Good job. Good work. Crank that out a little behind. Nice. There you go. Share. B boy, you got it? Nice. Nice. You stuck with that one. Cool. I like that. Um, that's a little more of a... How about, say, studious? If you're a studious, means you're going to study a lot. But a student, I'd say, is almost a physical description. Good job here, Andre. How about you, Kiwi? You good? Trustworthy, really honest, grateful. Nice. I like them. Keep searching. All right, you guys. Uh, all but two people in the class have all of their traits. Let's quiet down. We're going to move on to the next stage. Focus up front, because actually, what I need right now is for you all, all of your eyes to be up here on my face for this next lesson, to understand what I'm really asking of you guys. Here's what we're going to do. The second part of your bell work task, before we get into the reading, is going to ask that you guys identify your most prominent trait. I'm asking you guys to identify your most prominent character trait. I'm not asking you to look at your physical traits, okay? But what's your most prominent trait? Who here can explain to me what the word prominent might mean? Tanisha. Like the main thing? The main thing. Perfect. So let's, let's take um, Jay-Z, for example, and look at his face. Of his facial features. Hold on. Of his ears, of his eyes, of his nose, of his lips, of his chin. What is his most prominent feature, raise your hand. Well, if you think you got it, hold on. <laughs> Darius, what do you, Darius, what do you think? How many of y'all would agree Jay-Z's most prominent feature is his lips? Perfect. What about, hey, look at my face really quickly. Watch, I'm gonna do something to my face. And you I didn't even do it yet, man. <laughs> anyway, let me just show you. You think it's prominent now. Wait about now, watch. What's my most prominent feature? My nose. All right. <laughs> so pause, pause, pause. Now, I just asked you all to look at physical features of myself. Now, we got to drop the physical traits. We're not looking physically. I'm asking you all to look at yourselves as characters. Look at this list. If I was asking you to point out um, your Jay-Z lips for your character, what is the most prominent feature or the most prominent character trait of yourself that you have on this list, 
I'm giving you guys 30 seconds to look at your list and to go ahead and circle the one that you say, you know what, of all of these, this one is, is most describes me. You guys got 30 seconds. Good job. Cool. Um, Jeffrey went ahead and jumped the gun. Hold on, we're going to share in just a moment. I got one more task. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to hear this. You guys have already practiced generating thesis statements. Yesterday, we talked about, Eleanor, listen up. We talked about the difference between a one-part thesis and a three-part thesis, correct? Yep. OK. So today, what I'm going to ask you to do, you've already decided on your prominent trait. Um, I want you, since you believe that's the most uh, pertinent one to your life, I want you to go ahead and draft a thesis as if I were to say, write an essay where you look at yourself and highlight one trait. I want you to give me the thesis statement for that right now, just like you did for Jonas, just like you did for Asher. But guess what kind of thesis statement I want? Three part. Take out your notes and look at it. Literally, I'm, I'm giving you guys, what, three minutes, four minutes on this task. You've made the decision. You have the template with your thesis statement. Now I need you to fill it in with the appropriate support. And then I'm going to call on you. All right, so take that template out. Kev, you have your notes from yesterday? Yeah. Remember we talked about one part thesis versus three part thesis? No. No? Look at your notes. Where are your notes? Eleanor, put them on point. Yes, exactly. Yep, there we go. The triangle with the three squares versus the triangle with the one square. Hey, you guys, what's the phrase? A closed mouth doesn't get what? Bang. So speak up. If you got a question, I'm floating around to help you out. Five minutes, I need you guys to write your thesis statement about yourself with the three bits of support. You ready? Go. Huh? Okay. What do you need support? Um. You're going to use your first name, you say. Kevin Johnson has swagger because why? Why do you say that? What's this? What's, what's your shoelace and your hat? What's up with that? They match. They match. This, always, right? Even with those, those, those hemp shoes you got, you always match that. What would you say it takes to make up swagger? What, what makes up swagger? Uniqueness. Uniqueness? What else? Color coordination. What char characters, uh, what qualities do you have that make up what you call swag? Personality. There you go. Charisma. So I need you to take three of the most, the strongest things that support what make up your swag and put it into a sentence. So Kevin Johnson is a student with swag because look at your template from yesterday, all right? You got it? Yeah. All right. Now, for the record, you've gone above and beyond what I've asked you to do here, which is awesome. However, for the sake of this task right here, what are the three strongest things that support you being smart? The first three? Yeah. All right, so then let's just put this little one right here on pause. So don't, yeah, there we go. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm coming back here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, spread everywhere. I don't see that too much. That might be somewhere else. I see this, I see this, and I see this. I see this. I see this a lot. Um, you're a very positive young lady. Um, I'll give you one example of where I see it in class. Um, even when situations get tough, you're always smiling, right? You always smile. You're re you're re you just smiled right there. You're re so I'm a positive person because, for one, I always smile in a situation. Number two, what are other things that support you being positive? This. All right, this, I want to see what we got here. What do you see? What's one other thing? What's one other thing that makes you frustrated, man? Are your grades poor right now? You don't know? Actually, I think your grades are looking all right. We'll do a grade check later on, uh, perhaps tomorrow, okay? But uh, frustrated because of your grades, because people around you, what else frustrates you? You don't know? Just a lot of the time? All right, for right now, we'll take two, but as, as we talk, I want you to think about the other things. If you're like, oh, you know what? And that really frustrates me, right? Like, maybe, I don't know, someone doesn't listen to you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what frustrates you. But whatever it is that arises, I want to see that you can get this before the end of class, all right? Try to think one more thing. Good job, Greg. All right, fantastic, you guys. I got what I need. I'm going to talk to a few students. And then we get to, oh, they're not, you're not ready for this. You ready? We're going to R-E-A-D-A-B-O. Okay.